for the TV people, what we're trying to do here is uh, record the effects of the trim burn. We've noticed on the previous trim burns that these are small thrusting maneuvers made by the command service module. We've noticed on the previous uh, thrusting maneuvers that even uh, 400 pounds of thrust on a 200,000 pound vehicle causes objects to move around because of the acceleration. It may be of interest to uh, discuss the reason for this uh, maneuver. The maneuver is performed to make fine adjustments in the orbit of Skylab in order to preserve a rather precise uh, orbit. Uh, this is important so that we have that we can execute repetitive ground track paths and uh, for the purposes of recording information over the same uh, area of the Earth uh, over a long period of time, several days apart. So let's start off this way. Hi, I'm uh, the PLT on Skylab. And what we would like to do today is show you the effect of accelerations on objects in space. We have our command module docked to the front of this workshop. This is our transportation system up to the workshop, Skylab, and back down to Earth, which we hope to use in a few weeks to come home. Uh, Commander Jerry Carr is in the command module now, and he's preparing in about uh, one minute to perform a thrusting maneuver with four small jets in the command module. They're 100 pound thrust jets, and uh, they are used to make very small and precise adjustments to the uh, orbit of Skylab, and this is to preserve the ground track repetition capability. Okay, I'm going to coordinate now with the crew here and see just exactly how far away from the burn we are. And, of course, when the spacecraft moves, these balls that are floating free in space will not move due to that thrust, but they will appear to move relative to the spacecraft because the spacecraft is moving. Five seconds. With five seconds to go. Okay, now you see the ball starting to move up, and I'm going to move them back down again. They should move up again. Okay, that's it. All right, the thrusting maneuver is over right now. I should be able to take the balls and float them freely and steadily in space again. And you see it is. They are sorry. Again, that was only 10 second demonstration, but it does show you uh, the effect of even a very, very small acceleration in settling dust, say, in a spacecraft, which is uh, no small problem. It would be nice to uh, manage particulates, that is, floating particles and objects in, in, in the spacecraft by having some form of artificial gravity. Well, of course, we can't thrust all the time, but we can do the, uh, the next best thing. We could uh, rotate the entire spacecraft. Now, rotations do cause some physiological disturbances in the inner ear and can cause uh, symptoms. But if the, if the planning is proper, and we hope that we can obtain this in the future spacecraft, then we could induce a form of artificial gravity which would cause the, uh, would give us the same effect that we, as we have on the Earth. So, once again, we have the balls floating freely in space in true weightlessness. And um, the effect of the thrusting maneuver was very short, but I think it was very dramatic, and you could see the all the balls rise at the same time. So that's the end of our demonstration for artificial gravity and the PLT from Skylab signing off. Ed, could you kill the VTR as soon as convenient?